All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. So the UN released its world population prospects data recently. Projections are what they predict or forecast that the populations will be and look like over time. And as always, although they did bring some down, the majority of the UN's forecasted populations for various countries remain delusionally optimistic especially for many infamous low fertility cases like South Korea. A few months back, I did a video showing a bunch of graphs for the different most likely population outlooks as the math worked out when I did it, factoring in countries, you know, actual fertility rates and their actual trends, not assuming like you can see the UN does in some of these fertility rate projection graphs that various rates that are falling are just going to abruptly stop falling. So you can go to that to see all of the ones I did, because we're not going to do every single country here. We're just going to do some comparisons. So to start with the world as a whole, the UN, although they have been bringing their projection down, still thinks that the world is actually going to exceed 10 billion people when pretty much all of us have come to the very obvious realization that that's not going to happen. Now, I just did for 100 years, so I did 1975 to 2075 in each of these. In reality, the way I was able to work out the math, it looks more like global population will be peaking around or under 9.5 billion, around 9.4, maybe even as low as 9.3. And actually, if you continue that curve on mine further outwards, then we would decline down to around in half, probably by 2100. Now, to give a quick run through some individual countries, they finally adjusted their data for China. Now, in their version, if you look at where my graph stops or would stop and apply that on there, you can see that by 2075, they now say China will decline down to about just under 1 billion or around 950 million. In reality, China is about to be plunging so fast that by 2075 they're most likely going to be down around 600 million. Egypt here is another example where they're still way out there as they seem to be acting as if Egypt still had a fertility rate of like between three or four when in reality Egypt is almost down to two and a half now. They seem to have Egypt curving out to plateau at about 200 million whereas they're most likely going to peak just short of 150 instead. So that's a 25% difference there. They have adjusted their outlook for India downwards to expecting them to peak at 1.7 before declining, whereas in reality they're more likely to peak between 1.55 and 1.6. Indonesia, they're pretty close. They have them peaking at 325 million. Whereas more likely it's going to be around 310 or so. They're actually coming up on that soon enough. Japan, they are still obscenely optimistic with saying that by 2100, Japan will only decline down to 75 million. Whereas more likely Japan's going to be down towards 50 or so by 2075. Italy, they only have going under 40 million by 2100. In reality, even with the immigration stuff, they're probably going to be down close to 20 by 2075. Nigeria, they still have going up over half a billion, and it looks like they're still growing when they hit 2100 and are at about 550. In reality, they're most likely going to be peaking in the mid 400s or so. The Philippines were in agreement on, although they actually came in a bit undermined this time. They have the Philippines peaking around 136. I have them peaking closer to just under 140. South Korea, they still say South Korea by 2100 will decline down to 22 million people. Whereas it's a lot more likely if you actually look at what's happening that they're going to plunge down to around... 10 or so, possibly even 9 by just 2075. Russia, again, delusionally optimistic forecast for them. The UN's claiming Russia will 
only declined down to 127 million by 2100. In reality, Russia is more likely going to be down towards 80, maybe higher up towards 90 by 2075. Thailand, they think, is going to only decline down to 46 million by 2100, despite the fact that Thailand this year has likely just plunged below one infertility rate. And in reality, by 2075, Thailand is likely going to be down closer to 30, probably around 32. Turkey, we are in agreement on, as if you point to the 2075 area on their forecast, Turkey has declined down to about the upper 70s, and that's about where I have them ending up as well. The same with Vietnam. If you look at the 2075 area on their forecast for Vietnam, the, both theirs and mine have Vietnam around 2075 ending up at around 100 million or so. Spain, they have as only declining down to the mid 30s by 2100. Whereas Spain's a lot more likely to be down in the lower 20 millions by 2075. Pakistan, they have going up to a full half a billion and still growing at the end of the century. In reality, Pakistan's more likely going to end up around 370 or 380. They have brought their projection for Mexico down closer to reality, but it's still a bit up. Mexico currently at about 129 million. The UN says they will peak at 150 before going down, whereas they're more likely to peak closer to 140, likely somewhere between 140 and 143. And the US, they still have sitting on just basically a linear line going upwards at the same rate, which US immigration numbers are pretty steady. They're usually around a million per year. However, there still is the actual natural increase which is going down obviously as many nations are and with the wider age brackets of the boomers of the baby boomers about to hit the edge of their life expectancy the birth rate and death rate in the u.s are about to come a lot closer to meeting in the next decade or two so the u.s's rate of increase both natural and overall is going to slow down drastically so instead of an infinite linear trend upwards being at 421 million by 2100, I have the U.S. much more likely coming out to a plateau, although albeit a still increasing plateau, just a plateau that will end up increasing very, very slowly, and that plateau being around 370 or so by 2075. And that's it for this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon down there if you want to support me. I'll do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description to a Google Drive folder with docs full of all kinds of graphs, charts, data compilations. A link to my Catch channel will be in the top pinned comment as well. May God bless and protect all of you. And I will see you all around next time.